All right, so as you can see, I'm in a different location. That's right, I am in Austin, Texas with my best friend, Jeremy, and we are doing a guy's vacation. As many of you know, I used to live here in the great city of Austin, Texas, uh, but I haven't really had the chance to come back here for about 11 years. But we're not here to talk about Austin, Texas. No, we are here to talk about London Funk from Wilhelm Perfumery. I brought a decant with me because I wanted to do my review in a city that is all about being weird and talk about a fragrance that some might think it's kind of weird or at least a little funky but do i like london funk or is it a little too much funk you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out cue that intro going on my beautiful fragrance family and welcome back to my two cents i hope each and every one of you are doing freaking phenomenal today my name is brian and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance helping you become a lasting scent memory okay so i do have a 100 ml bottle of this that i did purchase now a, a friend of mine autumn i know you guys have heard me talk about her she really wanted to try this fragrance and i told her i was like listen i'll pick it up i wasn't that interested in it i saw some reviews on it and i was like Nah, it doesn't really sound that that interesting to me. But Autumn really wanted it, so I was like, look, I'll get, you know, I'll get a bottle, then I'll split it with you. How about that? Now, Autumn freaking loves this fragrance, and she decides she's going to go ahead and buy her own bottle. So now I'm stuck with a bottle. Or am I? Because do I actually like this fragrance, or is it... Uh... Well, let's find out in today's Whiffs and Sniffs. I've done quite a few wearings of this, and I actually have gotten some attention with this. Now, let's spray it on and let me break it down for you because honestly, my two cents is going to be a little bit different than a lot of the other reviews out there. So, here we go. I'll leave a full bottle presentation up on the screen for you somewhere around here so you see what it's, you know, see what it looks like. It's a beautiful presentation, beautiful bottle. I just didn't want to actually carry it all the way to Austin with me, so let's brought decant. Okay. So this is London Funk. Now London Funk was you know, built to be a fragrance that kind of reminds people of the, you know, the 70s. Like going out, going to bars and clubbing and just that kind of that kind of 70s vibe. And they did a good job with that because it really does. It's very green, it's very camphorous, it's very woody and there's a lot of musks in this. But there is one note that a lot of people don't really talk about and that is the devil's lettuce. Now right off the bat, you get this really nice big burst of citrus, like grapefruit citrus, um, and maybe also some lemon sitting in there. Bergamot probably as well, but I get a buttload, I mean a buttload of juniper berries, and that juniper, think like gin. I mean, it smells kind of just like, well, pine salt, but not in a harsh way whatsoever. It's very piney, it's very green, it's very resinous. I also get a huge blast of basil, or basil, as you like to say it over across the pond, which, by the way, is the proper way to say it. Cardamom is in the note breakdown. I don't get a whole lot of like spicy sweet cardamom. I get more green cardamom. And there is a nice spiciness to it, but it's not like an overpowering spicy quality. I get a lot more of the juniper berry and the basil but I also get that devil's lettuce. Now, not like a smoky cannabis accord or anything like that. More along the lines of just being green and resinous, very resinous. Think about when you're cleaning out your bong or whatever, the resins that are clogging everything up, it kinda is sticky. It's a little icky that way, but in a good way, not in a bad way. This is very fresh and spicy, and it's also very, mm, it's, it, it's got a nice warmth to it. There is an underlying sweetness to this, but the best way for me to describe it to you is kind of a green sweetness. 
Now further in, as this fragrance starts drying down, you really get more into that woodiness and these beautiful musks. Now the musks in this are basically just very powerful. All right, they're very powerful. They're a nice uh, blend of clean and also dark musks. So you're getting some white musks, some, some dark musks in there. And they do a really good job representing what this fragrance is all about. It's meant to be funky. Kind of reminds you of a, like what it was like to be in the 70s. Think polo green while wearing maybe a leather suit. Maybe something you would wear at like Studio 54 to get noticed. Because this thing on my skin has a ton of projection, but also you get that devil's lettuce note in there, which I think is probably more like cipriol, so it's adding to that green camphorous quality, but there's so many green qualities to this, and the juniper berry, the basil, that devil's lettuce, cannabis, the woods are really your predominant players in this. There's not a whole lot of a floral backbone to this though there are probably some some florals sitting in the back just kind of helping everything you know permeate off your skin but it's very green and the person who i could see wearing this is honestly i would wear it i, I really enjoy this fragrance and i get really good longevity out of it and i get really good projection especially within the first couple hours now the cannabis note in this is not like a cannabis note where people are going to assume that you've been you know hiding behind you know a dumpster somewhere smoking a spliff nothing like that it's more of just that green resinous camphorous thick quality because i portray this fragrance as being quite thick but in a good way not something that I would wear to special events, not something I would wear on a date, not necessarily something I would wear as a signature scent. I did wear this to work and I actually got quite a bit of attention from it. But it's one of those fragrances that I would wear maybe on, you know, on a night out, hitting the town. If I want to capture, you know, the attention of a special someone or everyone, this is a fragrance that I would definitely wear because people will notice you. You're not going to smell like everyone else. But it is a little old smelling. Jeremy actually wore this last night when we went out to, to a bar here in, in Austin and he was like, you know what, man, this, this fragrance, it kind of just smells outdated. It smells old. Well, it's because it's supposed to smell like the 1970s. London Funk, to me, is a great fragrance. Uh, the cannabis note, some people might get it, some people might not. To me, again, it's like smelling the flower. It's not sm like smelling, you know, it's smoking out of a, you know, a joint or a bowl or a bong or however you used to smoke it back in the day. It doesn't smell like that. There is an underlying leathery quality. There's a touch of a smokiness to it, but it's not, uh, it's not the type of smokiness like, like, like I said prior. Longevity on this bad boy, on my skin, I get 10 plus hours. Projection is great within the first two and a half, maybe three hours on my skin. This is one I would definitely say go light on the trigger. Um, I know there have been a couple reviewers out there saying I would never wear this to the office. I think you could completely and totally wear this to the office. I don't think it's that overpowering in the uh, devil's lettuce category. I think it's a very good blend. Again, very green very woody, very musky, and you have to appreciate those type of fragrances. I do really love the citrus up top because it's it's bright, it's almost juicy, but it's blended very well with those green notes. It just creates a, a very, in my opinion, unique type of fragrance. It's kind of fun. It's, it's kind of funky. Actually, it's quite funky. Now that funky quality does die off, as you further get into the heart and further into the dry down, probably after the first hour and a half or so, and then it really becomes that woody monster that I think they were looking to, to produce, and they nailed it. They did a good job. I'm not a huge fan of Wilhelm Perfumery. Now, they just went up on all their prices, so, you know, this is an expensive fragrance. I think I paid $2.95 or maybe $2.65. I don't know. I can't remember how much I paid, but I bought 100 ml. Do I think it's worth it? you know i don't know it's it's, it's very expensive i mean if it, there are other woody green fragrances out there that kind of can do the same thing but the quality of this is stinking good no i'm glad that i like it because if i didn't like it that man that's gonna be a waste of like 265 295 however much i paid for it but it's unique it's green 
It's it's a green beast. It kind of reminds me of Polo Green. It doesn't smell anything like it, but it reminds me of fragrances from that time period. But yeah, um, I think some of the reviews out there could scare people away from at least trying this. You can get samples, and that's the way that I recommend you trying this. Get a sample, get a decant, see for yourself, see if it fits into your arsenal, see if it, you know, see if it fits with your personality. And like I always say, if you've got the confidence to rock it, you can wear whatever the hell you want. But that's it, guys. Let me know if you've tried anything from Wilhelm Perfumery. Let me know what you think of London Funk, if you've tried it. I'm always curious to know what your two cents are, but that is my two cents, and that is it for me. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed today's content, then do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and always remember, you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.